Uh, let's move on to our top talker because this one has a lot of people chatting. It is an age old debate here in Cleveland. Should Lake Burke Lakefront Airport continue to be Burke Lakefront Airport? Should it be repurposed for another use? Yeah, I vote yes. <laughs> well, staying true to a campaign promise, Mayor Justin Bibb recently announced that the city has enlisted a team of consultants to look at the airport's economic impact and other potential uses for that very valuable water or uh, yeah, waterfront property. It is valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, but what could those uses be? What could it look like? Well, we decided that we would commission a panel of one, our own Mike Polk Jr. <laughs> to look into what could be. Ah, there she is. Burke Lakefront Airport. 450 acres of prime lakefront property, primarily used as a landing strip for big time rappers who have a show at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, but don't care to travel through Brook Park. I'm exaggerating a bit, of course, but not very much. The city recently announced that it's commissioned yet another study to determine whatever should be done with Cleveland's sparsely used downtown airport that serves as a relief valve to Cleveland Hopkins located just 14 miles away. To be fair, Burke still does have its uses. Though it continues to experience yearly decreases in takeoffs and landings, businesses and hospitals appreciate the airport's easy access and convenient location. But is that enough to justify monopolizing so much of our valuable downtown real estate? Well, that's up for this new commission to determine. And in case they're watching, as I assume they are, I have a few ideas myself regarding how this space could be better utilized. And I'm just spitballing here. An Olympic-sized pickleball arena. Pickleball's hot right now. Skyway to Canada. Enormous dog park. Really big park, not really big dogs. Cedar Point 2. So we don't have to go to Sandusky. Get to the point. Get to the point. Mr. Hero Museum. It's time. World's largest trampoline. What could go wrong? Cleveland Stonehenge. 90-hole miniature golf course. Strategic battle port for the inevitable and fast approaching freshwater wars. Big hedge maze. Like in The Shining, but you know, less murdery. A more conveniently located Blossom Music Center. That is a really good idea. More lake. Pagan altar for the 2024 solar eclipse. Balloon Fest 86 Memorial. Never forget. Tim Misney's Slip and Fall Water Park. There's only one Tim Misney. Call me, and I'll make them pay. Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill Where an Airport Used to Be. Or just put sand there. Literally just put sand there, and it would be better for everyone. And those are just a few ideas to get the ball rolling. Best of luck to the commission currently deciding whether or not roughly one-fourth of our downtown should remain a seldom-used airport or not. It's a tough call. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Any anything ring, ring true with you guys? Well, well, can I start with the with less Sandusky? I know you're from point Sandusky. Two? I understand. Really? I know. Yeah. I know it, it hurts. Home. I know, but <laughs> I had to be true. I had to tell him, speak my truth. No, I know no, you do. I'm glad that. you do. Everyone nodded when the downtown blossom idea yes. popped up. That wouldn't is, that be nice? That's ingenious. If we didn't have to drive an hour to go and uh, watch the Dave Matthews Band, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> you would get more shows. Yep. More people. Yeah. And I think the things that you could put around that. Anytime there's a hub for people like that, you're going to yep. need other service-related things, remember restaurants, remember bars. We had, we had the NFL draft. We had to build that stage and everything there in order to accommodate that. What if we had a permanent structure of some sort there, and there's plenty of room for that and a lot of other stuff? I, I'm being totally serious now. I think that might be the best use I of went into this half-joking, obviously, like with most things, but the more I read about it, the more I'm very certain there are much better uses, and I'm not just missing something here. No. There, we really should be using that space for something better. Yeah, it's interesting because Hopkins, because, you know, Continental is gone, mm -hmm. has plenty of room. Sure, sure. <laughs> Hop yeah. on in. Now we have the whole decon course that's still shuttered and has a couple birds in it. Right. And then out on the east side, we have the Cuyahoga County Airport. Right. We've got uh, plenty which of is space. We have enough airports. Great for the smaller jets and whatnot. So I think we're fine. Here, here's what's a little disturbing, though, Mike, that it's taken this long and how many studies right. and how many commissions. Why do we always have to, like, 
empower these groups to think about it for five years and then come back and right. tell us what you did in two minutes. It's two things. It's one of them is cost. It's hard to justify it when you when you're in one of the most impoverished cities in the nation to sure. try and dress up your lakefront when you have so many other burning needs. The other thing is probably some in special interest type people who like having that airport there and would prefer not to see that move forward. Oh, and you mean the fact people. that it's reclaimed land with dredgings from the Cuyahoga River. But that's beyond well, all of that. that. Let's, let's move on. Well, certainly. It. We'll throw let's... some kitty litter down. It'll be fine. <laughs> Just don't breathe. Yeah. Let's bring back digital anchor Stephanie Haney. She has been parsing through your suggestions on what to put at the Berkeley Front Airport site. Should it ever go away? Stephanie, I'm sure there's a lot of opinions on this. Yeah, there were a lot of opinions. Lots of different ideas, but a lot of people that actually like that airport there, they're not really comfortable with change. So when we mentioned to people, what would you like to see at Burke Front Airport? A lot of people mentioned the air show yes. when we asked that question. Not dogs. Not. Dogs did not send that. <laughs> they did not. That's <laughs> absolutely true. We get to our first comment. This comes from Patrick Coyne, who says that the air show, though, has shown that it can be closed on the weekend. So he wants a happy medium. He'd like to see shows He's on the Mike Polk page. He wants to see concerts and things, at least happening there on the weekends in the short term. Next comes from Bill Frederick, who wants to see waterfront hotels and restaurants. We got our next comment from the Facebook page coming from Steve, who would like to see ranges, a driving range and a shooting range. I don't know how those go hand in hand, but mm. he's thinking golf it shotguns and rifles. Depends how close they are, I guess. Yeah, going to be a, going in the same direction, I guess. In a, from Terry, they would like the Euclid Beach merry-go-round and an amazing park there. That would be a, an improvement. Something outdoors. No doubt. Now, in the What's New Facebook group, Cindy says she wants a park where people can sit, a quiet place, no animals or food allowed. That would be Cindy's version of Serenity Park. Wow, Cindy, laying wow. down the hammer. Very, yeah, that's pretty very harsh. Very <laughs> you can come, but she's your food and dogs at home. She's already regulating the park that doesn't exist. That's amazing. <laughs> now, Marsha Ann's our last comment. She said, see Baltimore. No, oh, I didn't know harbor. what that meant, so I looked it up. Yeah, yeah. the Inner Harbor. Oh, the Inner Harbor is beautiful. Yeah, they yeah. do a nice job. A lot of places do a nice job with their cities. Those are actually very good suggestions. Well, when you go to Chicago, which is, you know, yeah. sort of our rust belt neighbor mm -hmm. uh, in terms of you know, what they want to be when they, they, they grow up. Beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Their use of the waterfront there yeah. is terrific. Yeah, they're nailing it. Yeah, so we don't need a commission. We can just go study what they're doing, go to Baltimore, look at the Inner Harbor, yeah. and wash, rinse, repeat. Take any again. of my ideas, take the Chicago idea, take any of their ideas. Anything's better than what is currently there, which is an airport that is used by like five planes. I'd even vote for the <laughs> oversized trampoline. That'd be fun, if nothing else. what we have there now. Like by the water? Yeah, it'd be, what could go wrong? It'd be a blast. Get this team to give this team bounce and everything uh -huh. is going to be good. There it yeah. is. It all works.